everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California, for a much-anticipated main event. Twelve rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Biggs making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Bad Intentions is now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going in the shower earlier than you wanted to. right there. Another flush shot up top. There's the left hand working well for him again. Whatever game plan and strategy they may have come in with, Teddy, they may have just thrown it out the window. They're trading blows nonstop in the round one. Everything's been thrown out the window. Everything in the room is going out the window, and we love it. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity, where we have a Mexican-styled fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American-styled fighter? Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral, well, you're going to have a defensive style. You're going to have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Lands the counter. Locks away that headshot. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Good block by bad intentions. Good 
Good two-punch combo by Big. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. in a real, real bad spot right now. Come on, come on, come on, Maybe a punch or two out. and he could be on the deck. Oh, boy, he's got to get right to the inside, just go bear hug this guy. Either that, Joe, or maybe as big a long shot as this might be, his opponent now is coming in there not worrying about him at all. And he's leaving himself a little bit open. Maybe he can land the bomb. He can land the lucky shot. Halfway through round number two. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Big. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Big's in a tough spot here, and I think his opponent probably knows it, Teddy, don't you? I mean, he's got to realize that his work rate has been tailing off ever since he got to him. Well, that's the problem. That's why his opponent's getting more confident. You never allow, you know, what's that old saying? Never let the other guy know you're sweating. Well, never let the other fighter know that you're hurt or you're not right, that you're not sure of yourself. He's allowed him to know that, and he's using that knowledge against him right now. job just striking his target twice in a row by big he is very much being tested here even though he's likely up on the scorecards he's getting a real test here yeah joe a test that will serve him in the future if he goes on to win this fight which i think he will he's going to take what he learned here today what he gained here today and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career <laughs> They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, that's got to hurt. Biggs hit by a right hand. Able to counter that attack. Oh, and there you go. Biggs in a bad place right now. He was tagged. just not landing any body punches in this fight. Well, he looks like a guy who hasn't been taught that. We're getting a little bit of an x-ray, a little bit of a peek into what his trainers show him in the gym or what they don't show him. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. He has walked through bullets, 
bazookas and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament, not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are gonna say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. And a smart counterpunch by Biggs. Last 10 seconds. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Finish with the... Good defense just covering up down low. Good return fire that time. Good block there by bad intentions. Good defensive skill. Defense, more defense. Good strong combo. Big's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Fires right back at him. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. And there he counters back against his opponent. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. Parries that punch intended for the head. upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Big. Jam, uppercut, both upstairs. of the round here and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds and that's exactly what the judges remembered Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy... Oh, that 
That's gotta hurt. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, good looking two punch combination by bad intentions. In and out, in and out. Diggs is being smart on the outside. He got hit, but he sends it right back. that time and it protects his head. Well his opponent doesn't like that but that's exactly what he was trying to do just create some space there. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right <laughs> now. <laughs> Start dialing. <laughs> Targeting the hooks on each man. on the offensive. <laughs> what a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Intentions is now pushing away a bit. He's creating some space. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier. You did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style. It can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. 90 seconds to go here in this round. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. And there he counters back against his opponent. Biggs coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. 
Keeps. Able to dismiss that body shot. And a well-placed counter by Big. Teddy, I know you swear by it, and we're seeing it right in front of us. Good fighter, likes to fight on the outside, who's having a stellar night with that jab. Hey, look, if you're going to be an accountant, you better know math. You better know how to add. You're going to be a good fighter, as far as I'm concerned. You better have a good jab. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. A well-placed uppercut by bad intentions. Protect the midsection. At the halfway point of round seven. Way to block there. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. One. The right hand scores well. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. What a good counter punch by Big. I know it's good to throw a lot of punches, but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now. And that's land when you throw. Yeah, he's making everything count. He's putting everything out there for a purpose. Placing punches beautiful. Clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Big. Not able to. There it is. Big spins. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy end of the round a round in which a knockdown was scored now teddy if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown what are some of the things you want to remind him of you want to remind them how he got there because a lot of times there's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there he dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange.
Locks it away. He scored well after being hit himself. Biggs doing really well on the outside. Biggs in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. He's bleeding from his cheek. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Right back with some offense of his own. Good job staying away from the danger there. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Locks away that headshot. Targeted counter punch by Big. And just as we anticipated, toe to toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. that time. It was intended to the head. Excellent counter punch by bad intentions. I suppose if you're his opponent, you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going after it. That cut is there for a reason. Why change anything? If you're the guy who caused the cut, yeah, the first thing you think, Joe, is you keep going after it. But you don't want to get carried away either. You don't want to go headhunting to the point where maybe he makes an adjustment and you should be going downstairs to the body. But you're seeing that, that blood. You're seeing that red flag there. And you keep going upstairs when maybe you should be going downstairs visiting that body a little. Nice block by bad intentions. Works 
out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Watch that punch. End of the round here. As we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew there. Robbie and Rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Brian, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. A nice block by Bad Intentions. Good defense just covering up down low. That was a miss by Bad Intentions. opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. by Big. Nice block by Big. And a big left hand by Big. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And, Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Solid counter punch by Big. How about a return to sender with the left hand?
Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Double jab by Big. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Let's punch it out. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. <laughs> Bad intentions is now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming. And the rain's coming from the side. And you're standing there under the umbrella and saying, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. is almost out of it there he was stunned now throw some punches here the end of the round has arrived and now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy his guy just got tagged pretty good there and when he looks into his eyes, what is he looking for? Oh, first of all, he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there. You know, he got stunned pretty good. And then what he has to do is make sure his guy is listening to him and telling him, hey, look, you got caught. You've been caught before. This is the way we can fix it. This is what you got to do to correct things. Good job staying away from the danger there. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. <laughs> Good block by Big. Bad attention. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Right to the head and right to the canvas. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good block by Big. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? has got the win by way of knockout. He put his man down, and the 10 count was administered. He's your winner by impressive knockout victory. And he did it just the way he had to. Stayed on the outside and used those quick hands all night. For Teddy Atlas.